dark, that's what you want to cook with. Now, if you bring that fresh bay, and this is where with dried bay, no comparison. You take that fresh bay leaf in, and say you're going to do a chicken breast. So you got the skin here, so you put your bay leaf in right here, and now you got the meat up against there. Now you turn it down. The reason you're turning it down is you want the leaf closest to the heat source. And what it's doing is the heat comes up, the oils leave. There's only one place to go, into the meat. And that's where the flavor comes through. Because I, I notice this with our bay trees. One of the nice things, I'll, I go out when I look too, especially if it's cold, because I don't want to go back out again. And I've, I've told my wife, if, I, if whatever I'm cooking with, if I can't see it, I don't use it. So we've had electric knife for years, and I'm out there chomping away. She, Why don't you use an electric knife? Well, I can't see it. That's why I don't do it. So when I go out on the bay tree, a lot of times I'll break off because you know you're paying attention to what the tree looks like. You know, I mean, you won't. You, so I'll break off a whole branch off the bottom, and then I'll bring it in the house and just leave it in the house so I can see it. In it. But bay is also an insect repellent. People used to take bay leaves. And like you would throw them in your closet or somewhere, they, as in, they have insect repellent properties. You can do that with rosemary, too. Uh, we can go forever on the little tips. But that was the way it was used. But So people would, you know, and you could take a, a, a thing. Now, in its natural habitat, it's a big old bush tree type thing. It's growing all over the place. You've got limbs everywhere. You can just watch the way yours grows. It wants to go. That's where those bottom shoots are coming from. You know, that's the way to do it, but... Oh, my next class. All right. <laughs>